how to crochet the Solomon's Knot stitch. For this stitch, you'll need a crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Mountain Metal Wool, for providing today's yarn. Today, we are using their Laramie line in the color Marigold. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, single crochet, edge Solomon's knot, main Solomon's knot. To begin this stitch, you will need to create a foundation chain in multiples of two Solomon's knots plus one, with an additional two Solomon's knots for the end. Now for this base chain, we're going to do something a little bit different here. We're going to begin by chaining two. One, two, then we're going to do a single crochet back into that first chain. And then we'll begin doing our two Solomon knot multiple. So we're going to do what's called an edge Solomon's knot, which means that it's not going to be quite as long as a normal Solomon's knot. So we'll just make an extended chain stitch here. We're going to yarn over and draw through like a regular chain stitch. Then we're going to come back into this back piece here. And we will draw through. That will give us two loops on our hook and we will yarn over and draw through two. So we need to do these in pairs. So we'll draw out some more. You want about three quarters of an inch here for the edge. Yarn over and draw through. Then we're going to go into the back. Yarn over and draw through. And then we'll yarn over and draw through two. Okay, and we'll continue doing this until we've cast on or created our base chain in the length that we desire. Now to finish up our foundation chain, or our base chain, we're going to do a full Solomon's Knot. And that one's going to be a little bit more than an inch in length. It doesn't have to be exact, just eyeball it. And we'll work that the same way as the other one. Row one. We're going to do a single crochet between the third and fourth loops from our hook. So we've got one, two, three. We're going to come right into this little knot here and do a single crochet. Okay, now we're going to do two Solomon's knots and we're going to do the full or main Solomon knot where we extend this about an inch and a quarter and we're going to draw through come around back and draw through and draw through two we'll do another one of those Alright, now we're going to skip two, one, two, and we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. And we'll do this all the way across until the end of the row. Row two. After you've turned our work, we're going to do two edge Solomon knots. So we're just going to do about three quarters of an inch there in length to get us the right height. Okay, then we're going to do one normal Solomon's knot, or main Solomon's knot. And we will do a single crochet in between the fourth and fifth loops from our hook. So we've got one, two, three. four and five so we're going to come right into this knot right here to do our single crochet okay and now we're going to do two Solomon knots and 
And you're definitely going to get the hang of this as you go along. You'll be able to eyeball, eyeball pretty well how long that knot needs to be. And then we will go into the next, we'll skip two Solomon's knots and go into the next knot in between the two to do another single crochet. And we're going to repeat this all the way until the end of the row. Okay, and we'll end into an edge Solomon's knot. That's not quite long enough. So to finish up our row, we're going to go into the top of our edge Solomon's knot. That's the smaller one on the side here. And we'll do a single crochet. And then we'll turn our work. So we're going to repeat row two until we've reached our desired length. And that's how you crochet the Solomon's knot stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more news today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newsitoday.com slash VIP.